I saw a post today in Troy Young's um, Facebook group, 651 Vinyl, and it was an image that had some shadowing in it, and, it, and a lady was asking uh, if anyone would make an SVG for her. And the lovely Lee Butler Whitaker did so. And then someone else had asked how she did it, and she explained it. So I thought I would make a video on that same image so that you can see how it's done. Um, some people are more visual. Um, but I do want to say that this does not work with every image that has shadows. Okay, so here is the image. Um, some of you might recognize it if you're in the same group. And what I did was I selected it and went to path trace bitmap. I did the same things that Lee did, um, except she said, I believe she lowered her threshold to 29. But when I do 29, I have a lot of stuff here in the belt and I don't want that there. So I'm going to go down to 26 and I still have a pretty good image, I think. So let's click OK. And let's check it out, make sure that all of our paths are closed, which this is not right here, but um, you can just grab your Bezier pen. Let me close this out and left click on this line and double click on that line to make it um, connected and then go to your edit paths by nodes tool and you can give it a little curve if it needs it. Um, go to fill and stroke your stroke style and change the width because that's a little bit too thick. I'll try 1.5 and I think that looks pretty good. I'm not so sure it really needed that curve. So now what I'm going to do is go to path stroke to path and then I'm going to, with it selected, I'm going to hold my shift key and select the rest of the image and do a path union and then you can go back into the node editor and you can delete whatever nodes that you need um, to make it look correct okay so um here's one more i don't think there's too many of them uh you could try 27 or 28 when you uh trace but i think this will work just as well do one point uh maybe i'll do a one stroke <clears throat> and this doesn't take too long i mean if it's an image that you really need and you can't find anyone to make it for you then um you know it's worth the time so now you go back to path stroke to path with it selected with your selection arrow hold the shift key select the image and go to path union and then you can go back in and you can delete whatever nodes don't need to be there um hold control and click on the little um handles and i believe i can get rid of this one here okay so now those are closed paths and you can fill them with color. If they're open like that and you try to fill them with color, they're not going to fill. Now, another thing I notice are these little tiny dots. And I also see them here, but they are not going to cut well. Um, if you want to leave them, you can leave them, but I'll show you how to get rid of them as well. Just go back to your note editing tool, left click and drag a box around it. It will highlight them and hit delete on the keyboard okay sorry i'm zooming in and out i hope you're not getting dizzy but um i wanted to show you that they were highlighted and then you can go back to your selection tools see if there's any more there's one over here in the hand and you can get rid of um whichever ones you want now this is open here and we want that closed so we're going to just draw a box around them and you'll know that your box is around them when you let go of your um, mouse button because they're highlighted and then just hit delete and that closes that up 
And the reason that I went, now, did you see that? I was on the nodes and I was scrolling and it selected them. So make sure you don't do that. Now, the only thing I have to get rid of in the belt is that right there. Okay. Um, but if I show you, if I select this again and I go to path trace bitmap, and I do a 29. <clears throat> and I bring this over. Look at all that that has to be deleted in the belt. And all I did was just a couple of little nodes. Um, you know, every computer is different. So that's fine. All right. So once you get rid of all of your little tiny um, specs that you don't want to cut, which there's a few more down here, but I'm going to just go ahead and leave them. Um, what you can do now is um, fill this with color. As you can see, this has two colors. This is not going to have two colors because there's no line in between there. Um, and also remember that you have to fill your white, otherwise it's going to be transparent. So what I like to do is make sure everything is deselected. You can select your selection tool and hit this button right here and it deselects everything. And then I'm going to hit the letter D on the keyboard for, to get my dropper. And I'm going to click on this yellow color. And then I'm going to hit U to pick, bring up the paint bucket. And I'm going to fill everything with that yellow. I'm going to fill one time and hold my shift key. And then go around and fill all the other yellow parts that need to be filled. Let me get the entire image in here. And I guess I probably could have went with the darker one, but I didn't. Okay. So now I'm going to go back to my selection tool. And as you can see, all the yellow is now one layer. Control Z to go back. Um, now I'm going to deselect everything again. Hit the letter D and choose a blue. I'll choose the light one since I choose the light yellow. Hit U on the keyboard to bring up my paint bucket and start filling the blue parts. Now, you might want to zoom in to do that. There we go. Hold the shift key and fill in all of the blue parts. Okay. And we've also got some in the boots here. Zoom in. Uh, control click. Now I'm not sure. Now this one isn't closed, so I'm going to have to go back and close it with my pen, doing it the same way that I did it before. I just did it a different um, stroke width. Path, stroke to path, select it. Hold the shift key, select the rest of the image and do path union. And now I can fill that with the color blue. So I'm gonna make sure everything is deselected. I'm gonna click the letter D for the dropper, choose the blue again the letter U for the paint bucket, and just fill that. Now, I'm going to have to go back because I had to fix that opening, and that, here's another blue. So now these are not all on one layer, okay? So what I need to do now is let's make sure I have all the blue. I think actually this is blue in here too. There we go. I think I have it all. And don't worry about those openings. I'm going to show you how to fix that in a moment. Um, these openings here I'm talking about. Okay, so now I have to um, get all this blue on one layer because as you can see, it's not on one layer. So I've got these four pieces that need to be connected to this. So what I can do is select those four pieces and then hold the shift key and select the rest of them and do path union. 
now all the blue is on one layer. And I'll do Control Z to put that back. All right, so now um, we're going to deselect everything again. Hit the letter D for the dropper, and we'll choose this color and we'll go to the paint bucket and we'll fill that. Hold the shift key and fill that. And then the gray, we're going to go back to the selection tool and deselect everything. Hit the letter D, choose the color gray, hit the letter U for the paint bucket, and then we're going to zoom in here because we got a lot of tiny spaces. And it fills better the closer you are to it anyway. So still holding the shift key, continue to fill. Yep, I knew I hit the black. So control Z, hold the shift key, and fill all these in. Now I do let go of my shift key to zoom around, but I press it again before I start to fill. Okay, and there's a little bit of gray right here. Okay, I think I've got all of that. Now if I go to my selection tool, as you can see where I let go, um, and I, I was zooming, it did not get everything. So what I can do now is just draw a box around this because I know this is all connected and hold the shift key and select that. They're all selected now and go to path union. And then all the gray again is on one layer. Then deselect everything. And now we've got the belt. So D for the dropper, click on the color, U for the paint bucket, click to fill. And that's the only um, thing that needs to be filled that color. Now, actually, it's not. Let's do the tongue the same color. There we go. And now let's make sure that they're both on one layer, which they are. Now we have to fill our white. So let's deselect everything. Hit U for the paint bucket. Let's choose the color white down here. And see how those. Nope. Those by his nose are blue, so I missed those, but that's okay. We can go back. So I'll left click, hold the shift key, left click to fill his teeth and his eyes. Okay, and then check that. It should all be on one layer, which it is. Now these need to be the blue, so let's deselect everything. And let's uh, go D for the dropper, select the blue again, U for the paint bucket, and let's fill this, hold the shift key, fill this. And actually this little eyebrow is blue, but I don't know how that's going to cut, but I'm going to just go ahead since it's here and fill it. Now, if I select everything, that is blue, but I need to connect it to the other blue. So I'm going to hold Shift E and click on this blue and do Path Union. Now, every color should be done. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is take this black and we're going to go to Path, Break Apart, Path, Union. And now you have a solid black layer to layer all of your colors on top of. Now, granted, it doesn't have the shading and all the different colors. There's two different colors of gray. There's two different colors in the sleeve, you know, um, but that's how you can take a shadowed layer like that. It will group it um, and make an SVG file out of. But again, like I said, um, not all of them will work this way. So I hope this helps you. Sorry it was so long, but there was quite a bit to go through. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.